I recently got my hands on some teak and using two of these blocks I made an A-frame shelving unit. These blocks are 42 inches long, 8 inches wide, and 2.5 and inches thick. The first step was to rip these blocks into 22 strips. Four of them were 40 inches long by 1 and a quarter inches wide and 7 eighths of an inch thick. Those would be used to make the frame. The other 18 were 40 inches long, an inch and a half wide and half inch thick. Those would be used to make the shelves. To start assembling the A-frame, first I found the center along the length of the four strips and marked the crosshair over three spots where I wanted the shelf supports to be. Then transferred those marks to the other three strips. Using these tin rods, I made six shelf supports. I cut them at 12 inches each. Then with a force in a bit, I drilled holes at the areas I marked to accept the shelf supports. Before assembling the frame, I temporarily stood two of the strips to establish the angle I wanted the frame to be at. Then using a sliding bevel gauge, I marked an angle to be cut off at the bottom of each strip so the frame will stand flat on the surface. I brought the bevel gauge to the miter saw and set an 11 degree angle, then cut the bottom of each strip at 11 degrees. It's important to use a stop block when cutting so you remove equal amounts of wood. This will ensure your frame will be level. I added glue on the inside of each hole and then inserted the shelf supports. I used equal length spaces throughout the frame to get a consistent width, which will help the frame to become level. Next I'll start working on the shelves. After jointing the strips, I cut 7 of them at 40 inches long for the bottom shelf, 7 at 32 inches long for the middle shelf, and 7 at 20 inches long for the top shelf. Now back to the A-frame. After the glue dried, I clamped the two sides of the frame together and added hinges. When I use hinges this small, I always put a dab of hot glue to hold them in place before I put the screws in. If your hinge is a little bit off, you can always move it and reposition it. Once I was happy with the position of the hinge, I drilled pilot holes and screwed the hinges in place.
Then I stood the frame and checked to see if it was level. It was a little off, but pretty good at this stage of the build. Now back to the shelves. Using a router, I rounded over the edges of each strip that I'll be using for the shelves. To assemble the shelves, first I clamped the straight edge to the table and butt the strips up against it. Then I used two nails between each strip as a spacer, giving me equal spaces between each strip. Then I put clamps on each end of the last strip to keep the shelf in place, then measured for the cross braces that will be nailed to the bottom of each shelf. Each cross brace needs to be 9.5 inches long. Using a cross cut jig with a stop lock 9.5 inches away from the blade, I cut the cross braces and then attach them to the bottom of the shelves using wood glue and brad nails. I attach the shelves to the A-frame and check for level. A tiny bit off but good enough for me. This is the view of the bottom of the top shelf. I will attach these blocks on the bottom of each shelf on the outside of each shelf support. This will stabilize the frame to avoid it from spreading apart causing the unit to come crashing down. Finally, a teak oil finish. Thanks for watching.